when you hear the word slope, the first thing you should think of is that's the rate of change because that's all the slope is. You know, in engineering, they'll talk about, you know, how fast the pressure on a part is changing. In business, they'll talk about the rate of change of a company's sales. In psychology, they'll talk about how fast people forget things. Practically every field at some point thinks about how fast some attribute is changing. Mathematicians, we generalize this idea and call it the slope. So to see how we calculate this, think about this example. Suppose you have a car that goes 100 miles in two hours, and you want to know how fast it's going. In other words, you want to know the rate of change of the distance it travels with respect to the time it takes. Now, in math, anytime you hear that phrase, with respect to, you should immediately, in your head, translate that as division. So the way we calculate the rate of change is we take the change in the car's position, that is, the distance it traveled, and divide that by the change in time, or how long it took. And that gives us the rate of change of the car's position, better known as its speed in miles per hour. So let's switch back to the mathematical perspective. If I put the time the car travels on the x-axis and the distance it travels on the y-axis, and I graph the distance traveled at various times, I'll get a straight line. Now the slope of this line is going to equal the speed that we just calculated. But mathematicians, you know, we don't like to think in terms of specific scenarios or measurements. We like to generalize things. So instead of talking about changes in distances and times, we pick any two points on the graph and just look at the change in the y variable divided by the change in the x variable and define the slope to be one divided by the other. Now, most of the time when I'm actually trying to answer a question, this is what I'm thinking in my head. However, sometimes we'll need to be a little more precise. So if we call the coordinates of the two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, that makes the change in the y values, y2 minus y1, and the change in the x values, x2 minus x1. If we substitute those expressions into the slope formula, we get the formula second version. So I know there was a lot going on there, right? Got a, the information got a little dense on that last slide. Uh, there's really two things you need to take away here. The first is that when you hear that word slope, just think rate of change. That's telling you how fast the line is, is changing, either going up or down. And the second thing is the formula, right? The slope is equal to the change in the y variable divided by the change in the x variable. So in the next lecture, uh, we're going to take a look at some specific examples. We'll see how to use the formula to calculate the slopes of some lines. Uh, and we'll see how we can interpret that slope to get information about the line's behavior.